Hi, welcome back to Red Dead Redemption, episode 30. Okay, so what happened last time was we helped Bonnie herd horses and cows, and we learned how to break horses, and we learned how to use our lasso, um, and we also ran into Bill's gang, and we found out that he and his gang are doing some messed up stuff to people. Really bad. Really bad, and so um, I was a little bit shocked by that, so I'm very curious the next time we run into him. And we're going to try to find the little boy, maybe. We might, because three videos in a row looking for this kid. Mm -hmm. I really don't know. Um, but yeah, we'll just see where the game takes us. Yep. What are you doing looking at my house? Hello, John. That's not John. Oh, that's not John. Right here walking not John. Oh, oh, I thought you were talking about that guy. Oh, no. Look, it's rainy. Okay, so let's see our map. We got some things we can do. Um, we can go see um, Bonnie McFarlane. Of course, we know we can do that. Uh, oh, how do you zoom in? Oh, there we go. I wish, oh, there is a legend. Oh, good, okay, good. Okay, Seth, who the hell is Seth? Seth is, I think, someone at a ranch or something. Oh, and then there's a question mark on the, the road right here. Oh. So what do you wanna do? We can go see Seth. We can go see the stranger on the road. We can go see Bonnie. Um, or we can go look for the kid. Or we can go do the water. Um, like the water mission. Let's do the stranger. See what's happening. I agree. I think that sounds fun. I wonder if this is the girl I pointed my gun at the other day. Uh-oh. -uh. Okay, let's see. Run, Forrest, run! Sorry, right into that horse. Yes. Alright, let's go see Brownie. I was just checking. You know what I was checking for. I don't even need to say it. I know you don't. <gasps> I guess we're doing Excuse the Bonnie me, Mr. mission. Marston. Have you seen my father anywhere? No. He went out this morning to ride the land and was supposed to be back hours ago. Oh, God. I don't know. The ranch hands have been out looking, but so far they've found nothing. Well, come on, let's go look for them. Thank you, Mr. Marston. I'm sure it's nothing, but I worry about the old fool. The old fool. Stay up! Stay with me! I've got a bad feeling about this. It's not like him to be away for so long. Don't worry, we'll find him. He's not as young as he used to be. What if he's hurt himself? Your father can still handle himself just fine, Miss McFarland. He's built like an oak. You're probably right, but I can't help worrying. He's all I've got. Don't you have any brothers or sisters, Miss McFarland? I had six brothers, but five of them died, either what? from sickness or foolish choices. Wow. And the other one? He left for the east and never came back. Must be getting on for 10 years ago now. Wow. He's a high and mighty banker in New York, according to his wow. last letter. He should be here helping you and your pa. I don't want his help. He can live his life any way he wants. But when I see those city fellers coming in on the railway, all dressed up like a sore toe, I fear a little for his soul. He switched his saddle for a tie, and that's fine. I just never met a man in a tie I could trust. Look, I think I see someone. Oh my god, there's vultures. <gasps> Come on, let's what? hurry! Daddy! What happened? Oh, Nothing okay. nice. Wrestlers, I guess. Maybe the baller twins, that bunch. Now you head back to the ranch right now and fetch your wagon. Yes, sir. Marston, you watch after her. I'll do that, sir. It's a bad idea to split up right now. Oh. Hey! What could have happened to those poor men? And their horses were dead, too. I think we should get back there as soon as we can. Who could have done something like that? Your boss seemed to have an idea who it was. Let's just do what he says and get the wagon. Damn. Come on, boys. Those damn rustlers. I've got a good mind to head over to Pike's Basin myself. I don't think that's a good idea. And you're no better. How many men have what you the killed? Fire? Do you really want to know? It's disgusting. You're down. You never met the men I killed. I heard the way you talk about that gang you were in. She's like there was him. some twisted morality to what you did. We all have a code. Only some of us don't realize. The outlaw with the code? How wonderfully romantic. The reluctant murderer, the noble criminal. There's nothing. 
not be more depressing than a man who's found a way to think the bad into good. You're Look, Mr. Marston, the barn is on fire! Fuck. Yeah! Oh. Shoo, what's going on? It's a big barn. Shoot. Yes, it is. Oh, the horse is in there. Come on, come on. The doors are blocked. We need to find another way in. Let's go. The loft. Okay. Come on, run, mother trucker. Why aren't you running, John? Come on. He's taking his time. John, what are we doing here? Oh, this way? Damn, John's strong! Yeah, he is. Fuck. Mm, I'm really failing at this. Get up there, John, please! Do you have anything to shoot this window? Copy. How am I to do? Oh, this way, maybe this way. Oh, okay, here we go, here we go. Damn, what are you gonna do? I know, this is crazy that I'm doing this. Oh. Who did this? She just walked in and got a smoke inhalation. I think she's crying. No, it's not the town. Maybe she wasn't, I don't know. Boom! Smacking her right on the booty. Oh no! Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, let's go, let's go. There we go. That looks like um, Nana. Honey, except for he has um, dark hair. Oh, you're right. Damn, that was crazy. It was. You sure know how to handle yourself. Thanks, Marston. Yes, John, thanks. You, well, you saved the ranch. If you'll excuse me, I, I've got chores to attend to. Hey, oh, thanks, Mr. Oh, yeah, we there. need to go get your dad. Sincerely, John. <clears throat> Thank you. Well, I did all I could, Miss McFarland. Sorry about all the damage. That gang seems Not to really fault. want you out of here. Yeah, well, my father fought Indians. I scarcely think we're going to be frightened by some white trash. White trash can be pretty frightening. Well, they don't frighten me. Good. John, my family owes you a great debt. It's like you're right. I think you got enough debt. <laughs> You saved my life. That's true. All I ask of you is this. If I get back home and get my farm started back up, you'll sell me some cattle. I prefer doing business with people I know. Of course, Mr. Marston. It'd be my pleasure. Um, well, you get some rest. I've got to go see how my father's bearing up. Yeah, good idea. Okay, what time is it? Because the Lord knows we're not allowed to do stuff at night. So it's what, six? Oh yeah, it's like six twenty-five. Uh, that's what I meant. I got the five, right? Those clocks are different. Thank you for much for me. Sorry guys, I'm not trying to run into you over here. Look, okay, okay, hey, here I am. Oh my god, I'm gonna start a stampede! Oh shit, come on honey, we gotta go! 
you have to start hurting again. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Where are we going now? We're gonna go find the stranger. That's what we were originally supposed to do. Yeah, I know. <laughs> okay. Wow. Let's go. Wow, 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 wow. Hey, you there. Hey, you. Okay. What Sorry, was that no. all about? Everybody okay over here? Oh, is everyone dead? Oh shit, everyone died? You didn't horses. Guys, I'm sorry. Just a little something for my troubles. Y'all ain't got jack shit in there. Got $19. Oh yeah, I did. Kiki. John! What are you doing? Sorry, I'm running. Can you just get up there? Okay. Let's just go loot these guys and then we'll leave. I feel bad those guys died. I know. I just was, you know, I needed to compose myself and then I was going to come back. And you did come back. Yeah, I did. Just a little too late. I was just going to say, not soon <laughs> enough. Oh, another stranger right there, too! Should we go there or to the other stranger quest we were going to already? To the stranger quest we were going to already. Okay. So many strangers! I know. Let's go. Pretty horses up there. Oh, let's look at this building. No, we need to focus. We can explore at nighttime whenever no one will talk to us. Yes. Hmm, a church. Okay, here we go. Oh. Everything all right, madam? Oh. It's Miss. Oh. oh, let me look at you. My gentleman caller. You remind me of my Peter. Have you seen him? I don't think so. Where is that man? We'll be late for the ceremony. He must still be at the saloon in Armadillo, talking to the musicians. He's such a fine man. Must be making things right for me, as usual. Well, I gotta get going, ma'am. I'm sure your Peter will be just fine. Wait, I beg you. Would you possibly go fetch him for me? This was meant to be my perfect day. Please, sir. Something must have happened. I can't bear it. Oh, she's crazy. So you want Peter. me yep. to go find your Peter so you can have a perfect day? Yes, please. I'll see what I can do. Oh. Hmm. Think he's going to find him? No, I don't. I think that it's going to be like she maybe was supposed to marry someone when she was young. And yeah. Then... Dementia. Yeah. And then... Dementia. <laughs> okay, well, there we go. Woo! Let's try, baby. It said five finger fillet on there, or I don't know if it said fillet, but um. Yeah, it did. Five it finger fillet. Said, mm -hmm. I don't know if we want to do that again. No. Please don't. I think we um. We're all five finger filleted out. Yeah, definitely. I can't believe people really play that. <gasps> yes, I know. And then a, a, a few people commented saying like, oh, I've done that when I was drunk. I'm like, that's crazy. Oh, my gosh. Wow. So they must have done pretty good. They got fingers. Ew. This is the second time I've saved you, lady. not all men are bad. I won't forget what you did here. Thank you. I couldn't just pass by and let them kill you. She gave you $4. That was nice of you, lady. Pick up the knife? No. Okay. Anyways, let's go into the saloon. Just murdered someone. Bless you. I hear something going on. 
Thank you, Mama. Just so you know, I don't take requests, mister. I'm looking for a man. Name's Peter. Fellow's meant to get married today. Seen him around? Who? Who? Peter is what she said. <laughs> you ain't after no Pete Turner, are you? For all I know. Where can I find him? Well, my memory escapes me when not properly stimulated. Oh, fuck you. I'll break your fingers. Yeah, really. Let's see if we can refresh it. Five dollars will do. Or you could run a little errand. No, I'd rather do the five dollars. What do you need done? It's my wife. She packed her things this morning and left me. <laughs> the dumb wench is still at the freight station waiting for the stagecoach. If you could convince her to take me back. I'd rather not. You called her a dumb wench. Her name's Rose. I guess I'll go have a talk with her. Well, you'll need more than talk with that bitch. Oh my god, I don't think I wanna. No, I'm not gonna go convince your wife. I'm gonna pay you $5 a piece of fucking shit. I'm not fucking convince your wife. Yeah. Truth is, Pete Turner ain't been an armadillo for near on 20 years now. Kind of a queer fella and all. Wasn't here every night. Sure as the moon in the sky. What happened to him? Well, what happens to all of us? I reckon you'll find him at Odd Fella's Rest. Yeah, that's where he'd be, I'd guess. Okay. Remember the miracles. Now, where's Odd Fella's Rest? We're about to find out. Waiting for my house to arrive. Hello, honey. Okay, let's see. That's the child. Is this Odd Fella's Rest? Yes, this is it. where I need to go. There we go. Alright, it's so late. Oh, I almost hit that lady. It's so late. Am I even gonna be able to talk? To yeah, I know. We're gonna try. And you know what? If we can't, we're gonna look for the kid because we're over in that area anyway. How about that? Yeah, absolutely. Come on. That goes. Yes, we do. Pretty sky. It is beautiful. I would love to see the sky like this with like no light pollution and stuff like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. Mm-hmm. And the northern lights, I'd love to see that. <gasps> yes, me too. This video is sponsored by LaCroix! Oh boy! No, it's not, but... I know it's not. So don't I have a task for him. What? It is! It's a graveyard! Oh, man. What an asshole! Why did you fucking have me come out here? Yeah. What a dickhead motherfucker. Here he is. Peter Turner. Wow. With tr oh, yeah! Killed by a blow to the head. Oh. He, he will never dance with another. Whoa, that just gave me chills. Wow. I wonder if she killed him. No way. Now I need to go see our girl and tell her and be like, girl, you're crazy. You need help. They need to get her to a hospital. Yeah, they do. Oh, I don't even have the option to go back and see her. That's it. It's done. Wow. Well, let's go see who this stranger is. Sad. Yeah, that oh, yeah. is. And that she's all alone in a burned up house. I know. And broken down. I don't know if it was done or broken down. But no. It wasn't good. No, whatever it was, it was not good. Oh, look, this girl's back here. Even though she ran off whenever I pointed my gun at her the other day. Hey! Hello! Hello there! God, she looks sick! Hey, miss. What are you doing out here? Um, I'm thinking. 
Oh my god, she looks really bad. Have I seen you before? Oh, uh, yes, I think so. On the train from Blackwater, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, you were talking with the preacher. Yes, sir, I was. I don't know if it's so safe out here, miss. Oh, uh, Jenny. You can call me Jenny. Is she about to die? Uh, yes. Uh, all right. Uh, I'm safe because I, I have faith. So uh, faith can move mountains. That's the whole point. You're trying to move a mountain? Oh, no. Uh, I can't do anything. But with faith, I can achieve great things. I know that. I know it. You want me to take you back into town, ma'am? You seem kind of unwell. Oh, I, I get such clarity out here. I see things purely. The world is so beautiful. Hmm. And full of things that'll kill you. <laughs> including illness. Nothing's gonna kill me, sir. Well, take care then. Wow. This is w what? Oh, help Jenny by bringing her medicine. Okay. Do I already have some? I don't think so. Why is it letting me? Let me see. Okay, I don't have any medicine. All right, to town we go. Armadillo. Okay. Oh, is this a town? Oh, no, that's rentable property. Okay. Yeah, let's go to town real quick. Oh, we have a quest with Marshall Johnson, too. You wanna, um, you wanna go to do the quest with Marshall Johnson? Um, do you wanna go see that guy, Seth, or do you wanna go bring her medicine? Um, let's bring her medicine. Okay. You think so? Mm-hmm. You taking those bushes out. <laughs> they don't stand a chance around me. No, they don't. Oh, my horse getting mad at me. Okay, damn. I can't believe you can't feed them in this. I hate that. I don't. You know, I love it when you fed them. I know, I just always forgot. Yeah. Where's the general store? Oh, no, I need to go to the doctor. Don't you close the door. I'm going in there. Oh, you're a real fucking piece of work, Not huh? So fast, partner. You are mighty rude. You are mighty rude. Mm -hmm. Indeed. Damn it, son of a bitch. Well, I guess we're going to help Seth or somebody. Yeah, I wonder if I can help the marshal at this time. I think, oh, I think I can. Okay. Hey. He's always open. I don't have a clue. Oh, it's this right, guy. gonna be something to do with that government boy. We'll talk to him, find out what he knows. Fucking is. <gasps> Where is she, Marston? <laughs> Who? Who? My daughter, you fucking scum. Oh. Where's Bonnie? I don't know. I haven't seen her since after the fire. Why? Why? Because she hadn't been seen since yesterday <clears throat> afternoon. You know, I don't think I can cope. If I lose another child... Now, Drew, <laughs> nobody's lost anything yet. I'm sure she's fine. Oh, Mr. Marshall! Mm. Uh, Mr. Marshall! Come out, come out, wherever you are. Uh -oh. What the hell's that? Hey, buddy! <laughs> that be your next fucking mayor. Even better! Good day, Mr. McFarlane. Get down from that horse, boy, or I'll shoot. <laughs> I wouldn't recommend that, mister. Not if Drew McFarlane wants to see his bony back in one piece. Hey, Mr. McFarlane! This is a nice girl you got there. Oh, Get down from there! You know... Part of me's got to thinking I should just marry her myself. Give her a baby and that. What do you want? That's better. I want him in the I want him yeah. set free. Then you get your daughter back, mister. What's he want? We don't Someone do deals with free. outlaws, boy. Yeah, you do. Let's not waste each other's time pretending otherwise. Oh, government themselves ain't much more than a bunch of crooks. This is the land of opportunity, mister. And I'm giving you the opportunity to get your daughter back before 15 friends of mine take out all their anger and their loneliness on her. Where the hell is she? Where is she, boy? Damn. 
Bring Deke up to Tumbleweed in a couple hours. And don't get no funny ideas, or I will slit that horse throat myself! My God! You boys have a pleasant afternoon. Yeah! It's yeah. What do we do? We do as he says. You and me, Marshal. Mr. McFarlane, I'll get you your daughter back. I owe her that. Yo, you gonna you apologize to me for fucking thinking that I did it, you fucking piece of shit? Yeah. Just go. Oh, get him! No, that's what he called him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> true. <laughs> Teach you some respect for the law. His little signal. Hurry up, boy. Let's go. Quick as you can, deputy. Make sure he's tied on good. I thought he said in a few hours. Stay with me, Marston. I won't let anything happen to her, sir. Yeah. Let's go get her. Come on, yep. let's ride hard to tumbleweed. See, this is what happens when the Federals interfere in our affairs. Are you happy now? No, I ain't happy Excuse at all. Excuse me? I already told you, I ain't with the government. Now you say that, John, but the only thing I know for sure is who sent you. They made me come here. They gave me no choice. That's your federal government, Mr. Johnson. They come down here dressed as cocky as the King of Diamonds, talking a lot of flannel about helping us, about spreading peace and civilization to the West, but they brought nothing but trouble and taxes. I agree with you. Wolves in cheap clothing, all of them, rob you and make you pay to have someone investigate the crime on your behalf. People around here have been fooled into feeling protected when they're worse off than they were before. The fellas I know don't care about people. All they care about is lining their pockets. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified heritage. You wait, Marshal! I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once. You up a oh, kind Bill of man fucking kidnapped her. Second in command, oh. but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line yeah. to your deputies. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. What is this place we're headed? Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marshal. <gasps> they saved my life. Gave me food and bed, but they had no idea who I was. I owe them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable, different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. I trust you. It's just all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business, neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Pending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. You look at Deke here. Murder him! Man has worked hard at civilization. Why you Your know? boy steps out of line, they were talking whack shit about him. The he does it again, whack mm -hmm. him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. From what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Mm -hmm. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quickest you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. You know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East? Oh, God damn it! Come on. I ain't no use to you dead! Only a coward hides behind a page! You have to. It's your uh... Oh, what a name. You think mm -hmm. you're a man, do you? Across 
some shape. Yeah, I know, literally. Easy, <laughs> John, you'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is going to be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Lead Deke into town. We'll be right behind okay, he's running. I don't you know why he's running. You want me to shoot you, friend? Okay, All John, right, I'm moving. Oh, my God, he won't stop running. I'm sure it's been nice Just walk slow, John. Okay, maybe let me get the running out of his system, because he won't stop running. Okay, just walk slow. Oh, look, he... Okay, there we go. There we go. I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Jeez. Maybe she won't want to go home. <gasps> She's been fucked so good. Damn. Why don't you save some of that breath and breathe? Come on now, boys. Cut me loose. Where's Bonnie? I thought we had a deal. Well, you thought wrong. We don't make deals with the law. Can you shoot? Fuck, 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 I'm about to die and I don't want to die. Get behind it, please. Do I have my gun? Okay, God, I do. I think I hear her screaming. I know, I was just hearing that too. Shot him in the elbow. Give him back up. Apparently not. Okay, good. Elbow shot is all it took. Yep. Kill you every oh, time. Oh, return to Marshall. Oh, he's There's all the way up here. <gasps> Holy fuck! Holy shit! Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? Damn. Oh my god, there's so many people. What the fuck? Jesus. I'm not about to die. I don't want to die. Fuck. Okay, good. <gasps> Holy crap. No, don't freaking and shoot me. Piece of shit, fuck you! I'll gun down the lot of you! Guys, you're just all. Oh, that's. Sorry. Bonnie! OMG! <laughs> Holy Close crap! Close right up. Oh Buddy, are you okay? No. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, wow. What the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. If you think I'm gonna lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up, you got another thing coming. <laughs> Come on. <coughs> Good job, Shania. Thank you. I had your moral support. Oh, yes, you did. Yeah. All the way. I was like, where's my horse? Words of your deed is slowly spreading. Thank you. Actually, let's, actually let me loot some people. What do you say? I think we should. There was someone here. Now they're gone, so I guess. Oh, did they all despawn? Oh, a horse. Oh, well, hello, Nanner. I will be back for you, honey. Actually, I really like that horse. Wow, that's a pretty horse. You are such a traitor when it comes to horses. I'm sorry, I don't have any loyalty anymore. You don't. Not since midnight. Many moons ago. Oh, I barely even remember what she looks like. I don't. I know I do. I don't either. She's beautiful. Hey, 
Hey! What in the heck? Look at you! Okay, anything in the church? I got $200, Mom. I know, you just got five. Doors are gonna fall in. Why? Because he's not a man of God. Oh, how do you know? <gasps> the devil has got into that beast. I don't know what that means. Wow. All right, let's scooch our boots. Actually, let's see if there's anything in here. Not looking like it. Oh, can't believe Bonnie got kidnapped. I know. And tussled up. I know. They beat the heck Ola out of her. Yeah, they did. It's so funny. The really pretty horse that was next to Nana is gone. Mm-hmm. Okay, honey. Okay, let's look at our map. Okay, I still don't have her medicine to give her. Let's just look at the legend. Seth... Um, yeah. So, pretty much, we can either go see Seth... We can go try to do the water mission. Well, actually, what time is it right now? Four o'clock. Four a.m. I might just need to go home and go to bed, you know? Maybe. Okay, maybe I'll do that. Well, but maybe by the time I get to Armadillo. Yeah, yeah. let's see. Let's just see what time the general store opens. Yeah. How about that? Good idea. Poor horse. I'll be back for you, Brownie. You know that. I always go back to Brownie. So you come all the way back here just for Brownie? No, she'll respawn at the ranch with me. Oh. That's his bridge. Mm-hmm. Oh, more she got this. Come on now. Don't make Brownie look better than you. I know, it's so funny. I'm not really feeling Nana anymore, are you? <gasps> yes, I love Nana. You still love her? Okay, yes. I love her. I love her too then. It's more like it. I'm sorry. I'm indecisive. I can't help that. I know. You are when it comes to horses. Mm -hmm. You're so disloyal. Nanner's like, bitch, you haven't shut up about me the last, ever since you seen me last. Yes. But now you hate me. Now you'd rather have Brownie. Who you just abandoned. Sorry. Let's go. Let's go. I'll be back, Jenny. I still don't have your medicine. Hope you're okay out here all night. Do you want to get a, um, someone said that you can, like, rent a house in Armadillo. Do you want to do that? Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that, and that way we spawn there instead of at the ranch. Yeah. Go. I don't know when we're going to see the ranch, or his ranch again. I know! I honestly thought that this game was going to be about him and the ranch. Like, yeah. I didn't expect it to be somewhere else. This has been a long ride. It probably will be time. Oh, yeah, because the sun's coming up, so. It's starting out to be a great jury day. Yes, it is. Okay, let's see. Oh, wait, I have to... I forgot that I have to, um... Let's go! What's it called? What is it called when you tie a horse to something? Oh, yeah. That. <laughs> Whatever that is, I have to do it. I can't think of it. Damn it. All the freaking... Come on. Okay. Pitch. Oh, shit. Somebody's up. I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on, motherfucker. Go, John. What are you doing? Somebody's out. Sorry, I'm sorry. My horse just got rustled. Keep reminding me. How am I supposed to know where the fuck this horse is? Come on, we gotta go. Come on, come on, come on. Dog, get her fucking move. You're about to get hit. Well, I failed, so. Sorry, mister. This fucking dog was harassing me. What am I supposed to do? Yeah, really. Stupid ass dog. Bitch. Hitch the bitch. That's what it is, hitch. Yeah. We couldn't think of. Can I help you? Didn't think so. <laughs> Let's see. Oh no, I don't need to go to the general store. I need to go to the store. 
Alright, let's Shut up! What are you doing? Well, I'll be. Alright, let's see if we can. I think this is where you wrote the. Is this it? Yes, vacant property. Let's go there. Oh, I was about to say the bar is closed too. Fifty dollars. All right, Mama, this is our new home. Fifty dollars. Got... I don't know how much. How long that's for? I True. think it means I own it. Oh, nice. I could be wrong, but... Yeah, you probably are. Truth be known. Okay. Okay. It'd be like that. It really do. I got a chest. Your own balcony? Yeah. Let's scooch. What time is it? Can I do anything? Oh, I guess I'm... Well, I don't want to go to bed for six hours, though, because it's what? Right now? Oh, shit. It's still only... Uh, all right, I'll go to bed. They talked me into it. That was easy. Yeah. Uh, hello? Okay, let's go buy some medicine for my girl, Jenny. I thought that was the Lady of the Night turns. <laughs> I just knocked that off the wall. Um... Wait, what? You thought those were the Lady of the Night rooms? Yeah. Oh, well, maybe I'm a Lady of the Night now. Oh. What's the rush there? Sorry, sorry. Help! Please! It's Herbert Moon! What? I'm Herbert Moon! I've just been robbed! We gotta stop him! I kill you! Damn! Can I have this? I have $52 on. Here you go. He's clapping for me. Thank you. Here you are. You got your money back. You're a real American, Carl. Keep some of the money for payment. Okay. Don't let me die, Lord. Why is he running away? The bad man's dead. Okay, let's go buy some medicine. Just finished helping the Hey! Why, hello. You I'm need back. something for that gout? I hope that helps. Twenty-five dollars? Wow. Must be some magical stuff. Must be. That's all I need for now. Excuse me, sir. Be well. Come by any time. Wow. That's actually insane. Is that apple for you to eat? I don't know. Let's go see Miss Lady. Okay. Come on. Come on. Don't copy him. Oh, sorry. He gets very offended. Does he really? Oh yes. <laughs> that makes me a wimp. John's not a wimp. Let's go. Wow. I mean, I don't like being made fun of. I'm a wimp. No. This John, but now he's not. Okay, good. Come on. Move, bitch. Move, bitch. Get out the way. Yeah. Is that a song? Yeah, it is. You never heard that? I don't think I have. I think it's a song, yeah. You think? I think. You might have made that up. Maybe. Yeah. Hi, Jenny. I'm back to give you medicine that was fucking $25. I hope you're gonna pay me back. <laughs> Miss Jenny. <coughs> Miss Jenny. <sighs> Don't look like the Almighty's much inclined to help you out here. <sighs> I was kind of worried about you, so I brought you some medicine. You Lord, I knew you'd save me. <coughs> Excuse me? You see, it was only through his will that you were ordered to save me. 
Tell me, <coughs> were there angels in your vision? Jenny, uh, can I take you back into town? Praise you, Savior. I knew you'd save me. <coughs> take the medicine. I know, literally. Will you come with me? Oh, I'm fine here, mister. I'm in heaven. <coughs> I would say that heaven. God told me to take you to town. True, sure, good point. He just leaves it for That sure. was it! Wow! Alright. See you later, girlfriend. I sure hope you're okay. Oh, hello. You look very beautiful in the morning light. I think literally we only have one mission and it's to go see our girl. Oh, wait, no. Oh, the only thing I can go do right now is go see um Seth. So I guess that's what I'll do. I guess so. Oh yeah, we're gonna, I think we're gonna be over near that little old lady is. I wonder if I can run into her again. Hopefully not, hopefully she's gone. Well, where the hell would she be, mom? Hopefully in town, living. Hopefully, but probably not. She was a little crazy, mom. Yeah, no, hopefully she got help. Go. Back in these times, I fear she did not. Yeah, I'm afraid of that time. <gasps> Damn. <gasps> that was quite the reaction. It was. <laughs> Howdy. Howdy. Come on. Yeah, let's see where our girl is. You still here, you crazy little old lady. Coots Chapel. Let's go. Can I hit you? No. Oh. What are we doing? Yeah, good question. A little bit of grave robbing. Excuse me, are you Seth? Who are you? I'm a friend of Mr. Wes Dickens. Uh, of name's course, Marston. This is someone. John Marston. Goodbye, John Marston. It's been a great pleasure. I need your help, Seth. We need your help. Me and Mr. Wes Dickens. Let me be frank for one second, partner. I hate people. It was people who got me in this mess in the first place. What mess? <laughs> Look at me. Look, scrambling around. Look for maps, half insane. I ain't washed in six months. My hair falling out, my mind's going. What happened? What happened? My partner, he stole half my map. I never would have done that to him. Never. Look at me. Who did this to you? My partner, my boy, my man. Who? Moses Moore. Okay. I don't have the facility to tell you what I would have done for that man and what I would do to him now. Why? Because he stole half my goddamn map. And what map's that then? The map, partner. The map that tells me where it is. Where what is, friend? I ain't telling you that. I ain't. <laughs> don't make me tell, partner. <laughs> it's mine. It's mine. All mine. Oh god, sure. this is like Schmeagle? Is that his name? And where's this name? Moses now? He's at Benedict Point. The law got him for exhuming. Some people, they feel differently. Not Moses. Him and me are the same. The self same. Come on, Seth. Let's go see Moses. Get you your map back. Then maybe you'll help me. Yes. All right, partner. Let's go. What's he supposed to help John with? 
Um, he. Uh, I actually cannot remember. Okay. So, yes. Maybe just making Come money. On, then, I'm not partner. sure. All right, where are we going? I'll follow you, Mister. Master. How can you sink that low? Digging up graves and looting from the dead. Ah, hypocrites! The whole damn lot of you. Are you saying it's better to steal from the living? They're corpses. They don't care none. These people have been laid to rest. You don't know nothing. I talk to them long after they've been forgotten by every other fellow. I tell them it's all right to be scared and alone. I embrace them when they're stinking and rotten. I met some sick bastards in my time, Seth. But you, you're special. Folk is cold and heartless all their lives. To me, they get warmer when they're actually cold and heartless. Surely that makes sense to even you. Not exactly, it don't. Are we really living anyway? Do you exist outside my mind? Maybe we're both having the same dream, and when we wake up, we'll die. I certainly Whoa. seem to be in some kind of nightmare. <laughs> What'd you say? I, I didn't say nothing. I just heard you say something. You're a crazy man. You should get that head looked at. Seth, I need someone who can get a wagon inside Fort Mercer. Oh, that's I told over. you could help me, but I'm not sure you even know what day it is. I don't. I can't even tell you what year it is. I knew this was a waste of time. So, you want to go after Bill Williamson, do you? You know Bill? Oh, yes. I met Williamson and Deke. Oh, it's All beautiful. them boys. Sometimes they call me on when they get some special job needs doing. I got a reputation as a man who do things most other fellers won't. Now, that I can believe. I reckon you can get in there, no bother. Assuming you help me find this map, that is. Fly! Fly! What's so important about this map? Nothing much. Just unimaginable riches and such like. A spark of hope that lit a raging fire I can't put out. I thought as much. Another treasure hunter losing everything in the search for nothing. Oh, I lost it all, partner. My Damn. wife, my children, my business. Good riddance to them all. I don't eat, I don't wow. sleep, I don't wash, and I don't care. I know. I can smell you from here. It used to be about the money. But now, I don't know who I am no more. I see myself, but it's like I'm looking at somebody else. Only it's me, you know? Maybe it's time you moved on. No way I can stop now. It's taking me over. <laughs> There's no difference between night and day. Mm. Let's go. All right, this is it. Let's stop here a moment and come up with a plan. As far as I know, Moses is being held in that shack. There's a couple of deputies keeping guard outside. Can you distract him so I can sneak in for a quick parlay with that son of a bitch? I'm sure I can think of something. away from the shack and out of sight. Somewhere out past that hill. Oh, these guys don't see two people standing here? Right. This is one god-awful assignment. I know. This place is deader than a side of Jesus! Guys! That's one way to lead him away. It's me. Okay, so sorry about that. So sorry, but calm down. Can you just go? Here they come. You're awfully slow, though. Thank goodness. Come on, come on. Oh, I mean, so bad, I stole the horse. Did you even shoot? No. You wanted, but you didn't shoot. I, um, because I stole his horse. Oh. Yeah, apparently deputies don't like that. Apparently. 
Good, you lost him. Yay! Now, do you go back with him or no? Yeah, it says return to Seth. Yeah, mom. It says return to Seth. <gasps> silly oh, well. me, silly me. You are so silly. So silly. My man. Definitely your bad. <clears throat> okay, let's return the horse. Come on, ain't no time to be wasted. You get the horse so they can keep their horse, dude. Hurry up, I need to go find our man. Where are you? I don't know where you are. Get your horse, old Come man. On. Stay here, honey. Don't go. Do not stand on the railroad. Good job getting rid of them clowns. Now keep an eye out in case they come back. Where is he going, I wonder? Moses? To talk to oh, his friend. Moses. What the heck has he been doing? I know, literally. He's not a visitor. Oh my god, Seth. They arrested me. It weren't my fault. Get the hell away from me! Get that slippery bastard! I need him alive, though! Don't trust Seth! He's sick in the mind! What's this got to do with you? Just leave me alone! Get your ass over here! You better quit it. He's running so fast. He is. Holy crap, he's so Do fast. Dude. Okay, there we go. I'm good. Oh, time. Nice job. Thank you. This ain't none of your business. Carry victim. Seth did sell his own mother. You must be stupid trusting that crazy bastard. I don't have a choice. <gasps> you son of a bitch, let me go. Who do you think you are, mister? <gasps> you just wait till I get loose, mister. Uh-oh. I think John's worried. I don't think so. I don't need him. I'm not feeling very worried. What's he no, paying you? I'll give you I a double. Don't need him. Whatever he told you, it's a lie. We'll split it between us, just me and you. I got him, Seth. Where are you? Back Seth here? lost his mind a long time ago. <laughs> Did you think I would find you, Moses? Moses, you son of a bitch! Where's my damn map? Damn you, Seth! Damn you, Seth! You've always been a twisty little freak! I ain't telling you shit! Ah! Then I'm gonna cut you ah, up ah. piece by piece. <laughs> Till you find your tongue. Friend, this man's uh, gone crazy yeah. in the sun. Uh, I suggest you take my advice and start talking. Shut up, Marston. I want to cut into a bona fide uh, man's flesh. Uh, Ain't never cut into a uh, live uh, one before. <laughs> uh, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god. Rest. It's an odd fellow's rest. Now, get away from me once and for all. Well, ain't that a damn Don't shame. tell him. I was starting to enjoy myself. I think you gone pissed yourself, Moses. Poor guy. 
Those deputies went and put a bounty on your head. Best we clear it now. Don't need the law on our backs. I don't have no money, but I got me a pardon letter. Here, take it. You earned it for helping me with the Moses. Who wasn't a pardon letter? Come on, we can pay it off in the telegraph office. Ah! Ah! Come on, ain't no time to be wasting. Just name your price. Let's see if I can cut him free. Off you go then. Okay, twenty dollar bounty. Oh, how convenient! We're here, and I can pay off my bounty here. Nice. <clears throat> Go on, then. You can clear it up the desk. Hello. I've got a pardon letter here. This air is a fresh start. Don't do nothing foolish now. I won't. I would never do nothing foolish. So, mister, thanks for your help. Mm-hmm. Don't worry yourself with thanks, Seth. Just help me when I come asking. No problem, mister. Faster! I wonder how they found each other back in the day when they needed each other. I know, me too. Take a day or two to find somebody, I guess. Yeah, ask around. Hey, have you seen so and so? Oh, there's a. There's like a question mark over here. Well, hello, good sir. My, my, take a look at you. Will you take a look at you? What, do I look good? You look like you've seen trouble, mister. Enough for a hundred men. Trouble has a way of finding me, mister. Do I like the sound of that? Do I ever like the sound of that? Trouble with a capital T. That's just capital. Whatever you say. Cold, tough, but with a heart of gold. The cowboy sings his lonely song like, like a dog whose bone is made of wood. Excuse me? Oh, nothing. I, I was just writing my next piece. I've been sent out here to provide a little frontier joie de vivre for the ladies back east. I don't understand a word you're saying, mister. Yeah, my mom felt the same way. And now she wrote me out of her will, and there's no hope for any of us. Oh, <laughs> uh, Jimmy Saint, sir, at your disposal. But uh, please don't dispose of me just yet. <laughs> What are you doing out here, Jimmy? Capturing the spirit of the West for a monthly back east. You know, I'm uh, sending them my oh so witty and oh so pertinent missives and gaining myself a little prize in the bargain. So it's action I'm after and action I'm gonna find too. <laughs> Wild men, cheap women, you know, guns, that sort of thing. <laughs> Well, you have fun. Fun? <laughs> I'm gonna have the time of my life, sport. Well, good. Yeah. Happy to hear it. Funny man journal entry added. You met a writer visiting from Montana at the train station. He is traveling around to observe life on the last frontier. Okay. But it's inactive. You sent me. Like, I guess I can't do anything with it right now. Okay, so, Mama. Oh, cute dog. Hi. I thought it was a pig. I first. literally was just about to say that. It looks like a pig, though. <laughs> um, okay, so, let's see. Really, it looks like the only thing we can do right now is go see, um, Nigel West Dickens, that really annoying guy who sells the medical cures, or we could... Do the little water side quest, or we can go look for the kid again. Let's go look for the kid again since somebody gave really? you Really? Somebody uh, gave you a clue, didn't they? Never thought I'd see the day, Mama. I know. I must be crazy. But if we're not if we don't find him within like five minutes, I'm yes, leaving. Agreed. And we'll just give up on him. Okay, wow. Well, Sounds terrible, don't it? We're never finding that damn kid. So it seems. Nah, seriously. Is he far away? Oh yeah, it's a good little ride. We're pretty far out right now. Far, far out. out. Why aren't we far fast travel anymore? Oh, I guess I forgot that we could do that. Let's see. He was running. Trying to remember how you do that. This? 
kit. Basic campsite. Okay, here we go. And then we'll fast travel to Armadillo. Travel to destination. Travel to waypoint. Oh! It's gonna make help me travel there to the waypoint. That's great! I like that. They didn't give you that option in Red Dead Redemption 2. Oh wow. Oh god. But it's put me in the middle of the mountain, so let's just go back a little bit. Wonder if we're gonna find that stallion, remember? No, I don't. Um, there was a stallion. Remember last video, there was a freaking stallion that I got and then I accidentally left him? Oh, yes, I did. I don't remember what color he was, but I remember I think it was a beautiful white horse. Okay. So, I think I literally just have to go up here. Okay, let's see. Okay. Let me open up my Discord really quick, just to see. They did center. So you follow that road. Okay. Oh shit. I wonder if it's just up here, though, you know? Yeah. Ouch. Sorry, little horsey. This kid's gonna be an adult by now. I know. He's gonna be know. shooting at us. Literally, might as well. Yeah, literally, he's gonna be. He's gonna be on the kidnapper side. Yeah. Excuse me. What's happening? Could you guys leave me alone, please? Oh my God, we're here. We're here. Uh oh. You fucking killed my horse. Fighting. Shit! 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 shit. Run. Oh no. Wow. I finally got there. I know. Wonder where to start yet. Probably an army fucking dillo. Wow. <laughs> That's kinda funny. Did you were there? Did we finally got there, yeah, yeah. and I died. Oh wow. Oh, hey Nanner. What's up, bro? Come on, let's get it on the bike. Oh jeez, let's freaking go back. Well, we're almost, we're like super close, so, um, to where this kid's missing, so we're good. We're good. We're oh good. You're good. You're good. Yep, another cactus. <laughs> Pull those things out of him. Here we go, I'm just gonna go up this way, because I think that's the way I went last time. Let's go. Turns out you can't outrun wolves. Who knew? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sad there's no Bonnie quests. I wonder how my girl's doing. She'll be fine. Let's yeah, go. Right. She'll be back to normal when we see her. She's a tough cookie. Wait, did I go the wrong way? Oh, I think I'm still good. I don't know. Oh, 
my friend harmonica. Yeah. <gasps> Excuse me? Damn it. We waited so long the kid died. Though you've completed part of this encounter, the story's not over. Check back at the sheriff's office in the future. Oh, okay. <clears throat> okay, well that was... That's so funny that we wasted so much time yes. just for that. Okay, Mama. So now we can go see Seth, the crazy man we were just talking to that we like just saw. Or we can go see um, Nigel, the guy that sells fake tonics. I guess we're going to see Nigel. Oh. You don't want to do that? No, no, that's fine. Is he far away? Oh, uh, no, no, that's fine. I know what he is. No, 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 that's fine. If you insist... And you always do, don't you? I do. I wanted to do a cool thing and jump over the rock, but it didn't work. It didn't work out. It didn't work out for me like that, unfortunately. And who are we seeing here? I can't remember. You said you wanted to go see Nigel, the oh, yes. guy who sells tonics. I can't believe it was my decision, but I can't remember. I know, literally. <laughs> I'm like, oh, we were going to go see Seth. That's who you said. Every day is dark and dreary on this game. Yeah. It's funny how it's not sunny like it used to be on Red Dead 2. I don't know, I feel like it's daytime for like two minutes and the rest of the time yeah. it's like this. Odd feller's rest. Oh, it says feller. I was just being funny. Oh, okay. It didn't work Mom out. doesn't like funny things. No. Yeah. Especially when they're not funny. <laughs> okay. Is he still here? He's still at this ranch? Oh, I guess, yeah, he is. Is there a dead person on the floor right there? No, there wasn't. Well, hello, Mr. Dick Inns. Oh, Mr. Marston. How are you, sir? I'm all right. I met up with your friend, Seth. Oh, <laughs> Seth of the Dead. <laughs> yes, <laughs> interesting fellow. <laughs> you don't meet many men these days with the moral fortitude to cut straight to the chase like that, do you? <laughs> Thankfully not, Mr. West Dickens. Yes, uh, contemporary society is remarkably harsh on professional exhumers. But did you know that in <clears throat> ancient Egypt, it was an art form valued more highly than literature? I believe Seth comes from that school of thought. <laughs> oh, very interesting. Look, you thought any more about our plan? Ah, your plan, dear boy, your plan. I am merely the help, uh, not mercifully the arbiter of wisdom. What you are, dear boy, is the man whose life I've saved twice now. Yes. A man who sells lies and deceit to unwitting people. Kick his fucking ass. If he doesn't help me, I won't think twice about putting a bullet through his skull. Feeding to the vultures myself. Uh, you see, Mr. Marston, you have the exterior of a violent man, but the soul of an angel, and that is what I think I cherish most about you. <laughs> That's what I thought. Uh, <clears throat> but before we can attend to your particular problems, um, Oh, we need some extra lubricant to oil the machinery of business. And uh, this being America, <clears throat> that lubricant with which we concern ourselves <clears throat> is money. Money? <clears throat> what are you talking about? Oh, oh, we need weapons. Armor plate for the wagon. Extra hands. <clears throat> and... I need some danger money. So, let's sell some more of these cures. Sell cures? Around here? <clears throat> Do you want to see me lynched? Oh, no. <laughs> the sport of kings. Racing, my friend. The sport of kings. A noble activity without reproach. Exactly the kind of activity where a lying, cheating, degenerate like myself can prosper. 
Uh, come. Let's finish the loading and we'll discuss it as we drive. Uh, 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 uh. Now, sir, the tooth gap, tooth breach. Let's go. Oh, yeah, he's, dri he's driving. That's great. Good change. I can just skip to the destination. You want to? Yeah, definitely. Boom. Heck yes. See you later. Alligator. After a while, truck it down. Not too soon. Baboon. There's gotta be more. There is. I looked it up the other day at work. There's like a really long one. Oh, really? Here oh, we are, man. job. Got two breach. Oh, we're gonna be racing! Oh, I'm in the back though, but that's fine. I'll, I'm sure I'll get. I'll in the car. I'll draw. I'll. Uh... The rules, but for you newcomers, this here's a fair race. Keep to your manners and let the faster cars pass. So now that's been said, y'all can get to running each other off the road like always. All right, now count to three. Ready, set, go. Making your way. Making my way downtown. Walking fast. Okay. Shit, I gotta be a Let's be careful, shall we? I hate driving the fucking wagons in this game. They just go crazy all over the place. Oh my god. Oh no! This is A to A. Oh mother of God! Come on, go, honey. We gotta go right now. We don't have time for this. Brick, brick, brick! Oh, they're just right there. We're good. We're good. Come on. I got this, I got this. Okay, we're in third, we're good, we're good, we're killing it. Oh my god. Goodbye. Would you like to be placed back on the course? Yes. Oh, nice. I'm only in fifth. Keep it entertaining. Damn it! Oh my god. <laughs> I know, honey, I'm sorry. We have to. This is very important. Turn, hard, hard turn. Fuck. I hate this. Come on. Where do we go? I don't even really know. Let's say we went this way. I just want to restart the race. I think I should just cancel and restart the race, don't yeah, you? Yeah, sure. Okay, there we go. Hard turn. 
Yeah, me. Jeez! Sorry again. He just looked very lucky. Oh good. He didn't want to move the last time. Okay, I'd be careful. Can I go up? I don't know. I'm hoping I do. Yeah. Looks like Oh, you could go either way because someone went the other way. Yay, we're gonna win! Knock on some wood, Mom! Thank you. Okay, we're at the finish line. Don't fuck this up. Nice! That wasn't even fun, that was stressful. Was it not? Hell of a race, mister! Hell of a race! Mr. West on, Thank you! He's like, no, I don't have anywhere to go. I mean, how to get there. Yeah. <laughs> right, best remove ourselves from the stage before somebody decides they want their money back. Fine by me! Wasn't that fantastic? The cheers of the crowd, the thunder of the wheels. The fallen rocks. Homicidal maniac? Hmm. Oh, come on, John. Even a cold-hearted misanthrope like you must have found that just the tiniest bit exhilarating. Not the friendliest bunch, are they? They take their racing very seriously in these parts. And your participation was not entirely pre-approved. That was clear. Ah, sport. War and heartache. <laughs> the guilty pleasures of mankind since the dawn of time. I get away from the men we just swindled before you start waxing too lyrical. Yes, yes, of course. Dun, dun, dun. Why are you dropping me off here? Well done, sir. Well done. Having you as a ringer has netted us a fine profit. <laughs> we seem to be wasting time, old man. Oh, patience, my friend. The Trojan horse cannot run before it can walk, if you'll forgive the metaphor. Next, we need to procure some grand and overwhelming firepower. And for that, you need to contact an old friend of mine. Goes by the name of Irish. Irish. Yes, uh, he's an interesting kind of fellow. Uh, he usually can be found in uh, Armadillo or some other town around here on some Bacchanalian revel or such. Uh, Great. An alcoholic arms dealer. <laughs> what could be better? Guess we went money for that race. I, uh, we'll see once we like get out of the cutscene, because that would suck if I didn't get anything for it. Yeah. I got three dollars. Three hundred dollars. Wow, that was worth it for all that stress. Okay, let's see. So, we can go meet Irish, Seth, or Mr. West Dickens again. But I don't want to do another quest with him. Okay. So you want to do, or we can do that little water side quest. You gonna do that? Yeah, sure.
saved my life, mister. Here, please take this. Glad to be of assistance. Did you give it to me? Four dollars, thank you. Appreciate that. Trying to kill me though. No, they're not your problem. That is not oh. my problem. No. I feel like we were up here at one point. In the first video. Howdy, friend. I didn't know anyone oh lived out here. Whoa! Now you can't rob the place now, can you? Now get! Friendly old bastard, ain't you? I don't need me no friends, friend. We all need friends, old timer. We die alone, but we live among men. You know, I was interested in moving out this way with my family. Would you be willing to sell me a parcel of land? We wouldn't even have to speak or nothing. Land's too dry for farming. Bandits run all the cattle off. Why you want this land? I guess I just like the scenery. Well, I don't know. Maybe for $200 I could give you the deed to this land, find myself a place up in Blackwater. Although I never could stand the people down there. No, sir. Okay, pay for the deed or take it by force. Pay for the deed. Okay, I have to go get some money because I don't think I don't have enough. Yeah, I'll have to come back. Um, okay, I'm so confused. I thought he had a ranch. Who? He, John. They want this, um, remember him? He talked to this guy and they said something about water or something in this area and like we can make a lot of money or something. Oh, okay. Yeah, so. Okay, well now, uh, I guess you want to just go see Irish since he's the closest or we could go a little farther and go see Seth. Let's go Irish. Okay. We gotta make some shmoney, mama. Yeah, we do. Hey, come on, easy up there. Hi. Can I talk to you guys? I heard of a fire up at the ranch recently. Always bad news. Place is made mostly of wood. You don't think quick, you lose everything in the ranch. <laughs> This is nice. Once, can't hear him. Me neither. I'm leaving. Luckily, they had some who I'll have to remember that one. I'll have to remember that one. They're like, okay, whatever. Bye. Come on. Nosy Rosie is what he called him. Yeah, literally. He left because they weren't gossiping about anything yeah. good. Nothing good. <laughs> do, 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 do. Let's go. Alright, Irish. That dog is always barking. Oh, wow! Oh, yes, boy, oh, you messed up properly this time, didn't you? You little paddy bastard! You thieving me cunt! You got it all wrong, Welsh! All wrong! It was French, I promise! He said he was going to rip you off! Now he's ripping me off! Here, keep on talking there, Irish! Oh. In about 15 more seconds, your whole world's gonna turn black! Yeah. What's up, boys? <laughs> Fuck off, boy. This don't concern you. When a man with a sing-song voice tells me to fuck off, it always concerns me, boyo. Oh. Look here. This paddy bastard stole our gun. Tried to steal our horses. Law's clear on the matter. I never stole nothing, sir. Never did. Not in all my life. That French cunt is playing with the Welshman's tiny and ineffective mind. Hush your mind. <laughs> anyway, you all got horses now. No one needs to die. Leave him be. Who do you think you are, Boyle? The bloody cavalry? Your voice is really starting to get on my nerves, Boyo. And you're getting on my nerves. Yeah. Why don't you mind your own goddamn business? I'll you up, you... I'm gonna good... <laughs> the French never want to fight for their bloody line. A Mr. Nigel West Dickens said you'd help me locate a machine gun. 
And since I just saved your life. Oh, I can't thank you enough for taking care of those two degenerates. Uh, untrustworthy, poor in personal hygiene, lacking in the finer qualities of a, a gentleman. <laughs> uh, what about the gun? It'll be my pleasure. Uh, she's magnificent government issue. It'll be a bit of a ride, but we'll get there soon enough. Uh, follow me, fella. Let's go. Let's do this. Mm -hmm. Alrighty, my guardian angel, this way. This is turning into a hell of a day. That's so funny. Let's he go. said it's turning into a hell, hell of a day. What's your name, friend? John. Lania. John Mars. <laughs> Choke of luck, you came along, fella. I thought I'd drunk me last breakfast there for a second. <laughs> Who were those five specimens of humanity? They was me only friends in the world. And boy, am I glad to see them bastards dead. We all met on the boat over a few years back, we did. Kick his thieves ever since, and that right there was the problem. Is it normal for friends in Europe to drown each other? Never trust a Welshman, he always told me. And he got his throat slit, so he should know. The kind of fellas who will steal an acorn from a blind sow and then kick her for squealing. And as for that French bastard... He didn't sound very French. Not for now. The team and bastards are holed up at the cabin by the lake. Can't wait to see the look on their faces when we blast in there. They'll be more surprised <laughs> than a slut dog with their first porcupine. You best not be lying to me. Listen, fella, I didn't ask for your help back there. I don't owe you nothing. <gasps> I'll decide what you do and don't owe me. I've had enough of your overly aggressive manner, fella. You don't know who you're dealing with here. Irish? I've met enough men like you to last me a lifetime. Two-bit slugs who think they're snakes. I wasn't such a long ride. No, it really wasn't. Where could those fellas if they give you trouble? The gun's stored just inside that shack. Okay. What about you helping me out? Uh, I'll cover you from the ridge. I'm better from long range. It'll be a piece of cake, fella. I don't believe you. I guess I'm just gonna start shooting. Don't you think? Yep. You ain't welcome here, miss. What the hell? Let me get off the horse. I don't want him to die. This ain't looking good. Yeah, that should not have hit, but I'm glad it did. I, I disarmed him. Uh, is the rock gonna get in my way? Oh, I'm not doing it. That's great. Do you want to die? You got trouble. Okay. Let's get out. Let me loot these guys. Sorry, Somebody help! It's huh? gonna be a reward! Aren't you dead? No, he said Al. Son of a you gun! just heard him. I need help! There's your help. That was funny that he was, like, Still alive, You're kind of. Mine now, you dumb kind of. Oh, oh, someone's still alive. You must hey. think I'm a boy. There you go. Yes. Nice. Said search the cabin. No, I was just finishing searching the bodies first. If that's all right with you, Mama. I guess. Thank you. Okay, we only need fifty more dollars. Can I have this? Can I have this? You think you're funny, John? I think he's real funny. Oh, was he pulling it's my not freaking here. leg? That lion sack of shit. <laughs> honey, come here. Come here. Yeah. Let's go home, honey. Where are you gonna go? To the ranch or the hotel? To our hotel, our home. Okay. Don't you think? Yeah. Where 
Alright. So much for hitching the horse. Yeah. Excuse me, everyone. I need to go to bed. Watch some my bees in your room. Yeah, one of the women of the night. Careful, mister. Ladies of the night. The lady of the night. Alright. Say goodbye to John and his less cool room. Bye, John. Bye, John. Hope you get a good night's sleep. Mm-hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so what was your favorite part? Um, rescuing Bonnie. But yeah, me too. Yeah. I know. I'm so sad we haven't been able to check on her since I she know. got kidnapped. So. But she'll be strong. She'll be back to normal. Yeah, she's recovering right now. Yeah. So she probably just wants to chill and be by herself. So, but, um... But yeah, that was my favorite part too. Yeah. Okay, and so for the question for today, how do you guys feel about Mr. Nigel West Dickens? I am personally not a fan. No, me neither. Yeah, I'm really not excited that he seems to be a part of the main story. Um, yeah. So let me know if you guys like him. He's just a scam artist. Yes, and I don't like it. I don't like yeah. that John's messing around with someone like that. I know. So, but I know he probably needs the, uh, Nigel's help. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. Um, all right. Well, thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. What's up, YouTube? What's up, you guys? All right, guys. Sorry about that. I had to take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> a massive one. Damn it. Oh, yeah, look at it. I know. You got us unwhacked. Unwhacked? You got us unwhacked. <laughs> You gonna delete that? Of course I'm gonna delete that. I'm sorry, it was Burpee from the LaCroix. Oh, I'm tired. Yes. I lean back. I lean back. I lean back.